Congrats on the three point contest, man. Uh, I know in light of the HBCUs tonight, um, in light of what's been going on in our society and our world, this is a little bit deeper, man, but what are some of the lessons that you learned from 2020 that you can hope to carry on so that this can be an everyday thing? I know a lot of things been happening with the Asian American community recently, um, so that social justice can be more of a conversation to continue it even beyond just the trend. Um, I know a shout out to Philippians 413, faith is huge uh, for both of us. And so what are some of the things you've learned that can carry on in our society? I don't know if I've learned anything. I think there's a lot of um, progress that has that has happened in terms of conversations, in terms of you know action and change, and you know the galvanizing of awareness. And you know a lot of guys in our league have been plugged into the community, been doing amazing works, supporting local communities. Um, you know I've supported HBCUs before 2020. Like all those things were happening, but I think collectively in our our country as a whole, whether whatever side that you're on, or the conversation or the debate or what what have you, um, I feel like there's more of a collective commitment to what we all can do individually and as a group to do exactly what you said, like make this an everyday expectation as opposed to uh, just a moment. So. Uh, that's a positive sign. And I think, I guess the one thing I have learned is just, there's so many people that are doing amazing work across our country and in different communities, obviously being in here in Atlanta, shout out to Stacey Abrams, who I got to meet and, and, and do some work with and support some of her initiatives. Uh, but across the board, there's so many people doing amazing things and, um, we all have a responsibility to continue to, to plug in. Um, and like you said, it's not, it's not just Black Lives Matter. It's it's ending racism across the board, no matter what your background is. Um, you know, stopping Asian hate, uh, speaking for people that can't speak for themselves, and doing um, doing the the work publicly and behind closed doors. So we all have to be accountable and committed to that. The HBCUs and the COVID relief. Uh, can you talk about some of the charities that are taking place? I mean, yeah, they talked about how much money was raised tonight, and I think over uh, three million, I think, in total throughout the weekend. And to put black historical black colleges, universities on the on the national you know radar and national map in terms of the culture, the the excellence, and just the community, um, I think that that goes a long way. Uh, I grew up in in, in Charlotte and used to go to. Johnson C. Smith and work out at their gym and uh, Coach Joyner, who's the head coach there, was a great, you know, family friend and used to see him all around the city. And and so uh, to kind of see that full circle, obviously the stuff that I've been doing with Howard University and, and the like, uh, you know, there's a lot of good that's coming from those colleges and universities and want to continue to support them and put them on a the map.